Hi guys and welcome to the channel. So what we're going to be doing today is replacing the front brake discs and front brake pads on this Vauxhall Corsa E. If you liked the video, please chuck me a thumbs up and please go subscribe if you're new. Let's crack on. First things first guys, you want to take the cap off your brake fluid reservoir, put a nice cloth or a microfiber towel, anything around as it's highly corrosive. What we'll be doing is pushing the piston in and we'll be pushing fluid back through the system and you don't want any pressure when doing so because you can burst the pipes as you're doing so so first things first always important to do these steps next thing jack up your car find the jacking point and jack it up so the wheels off the ground like so and after that chuck your axle stand under just so you know you're safe to work under the car undo the nuts and the locking wheel nut using a 17 mil socket. Just as an extra step guys, put the wheel under the car, somewhere solid, not under the bumper, but somewhere solid, just in case the axle stand did fail for any reason, very unlikely to happen, but if your legs are trapped, if your legs are under the car and you, you saw it failing or you hear something going, you've got that time and you know 100% that wheel is under there. And yes, you may damage your wheel, but it's far better to damage your wheel than to have no legs. So just to put that lightly, guys, but that's a really good idea. So first things first, guys, you want to take this retaining pin out i literally just use a screwdriver to force the spring off of the uh, sort of caliper that's all you need to do for the first step You've got these plastic little covers that you just want to pick out these are just to save the dust from uh filling in the bolt holes literally just a plastic little cover so what you want then is this h7 bit that fits nice and snug in there now crack the bolts off, like so, undo on both, top and bottom. Then is a bit of persuasion off the caliper bracket. As you can see here, I'll do a comparison now to the new pads. These were well overdue. So here's the new pad, and here's the old one. So you can see the difference in thickness. And obviously check that you've got the right parts. And yet, they are identical. So what I'm going to do now is take tension off the brake line and with my knee support the caliper, remove the, uh, the back pad. And what I'm going to do is get a wire brush and clean the caliper. And the caliper bracket where the uh, the pads actually sit in. What I've got here is some copper grease, actually some high temperature grease. I'm going to be putting on the grooves of the bracket and ever so lightly on the ears for the pads as well. Just like so. What's next is to actually wind in this piston that you can see here using a piston rewind toolkit that I'll show you now. Yeah, I've selected the bits I need for my piston. This is a brake rewind kit that you can get on eBay 
for under 20 quid this will save you a lot of hassle because there are some methods we use different sort of clamps but i found this will actually pay for itself if you are doing this to your cars in the future so what we're going to be doing is oh, let me get that off there is winding that piston in there Now I'm just popping in the, the back pad. Make sure it's the right way around. Just pops in the way it came out. Just like. Just like that. And we're gonna be painting the ears of this one too. Sure you don't cross thread the bracket or strip the thread on the bolt next thing i'm going to do is put this retaining clip back in Well, nice and secure then. And then we've got two 19 mil bolts that if you look parallel to the bolts we just put back in, just behind that further in, we've got two 19 mil bolts. You can't miss. If you can't get the bolt off, as you just saw, I turned the wheel so I've got some more room to work. I'm gonna use this breaker bar then to crack the bolt off and there we are easy as that so with those two bolts undone as you can see there the two bracket bolts i'm now gonna grab these zip ties through one of the bolt holes some of you may have a different idea um, but this is what i've got on me at the moment I'm actually going to support the caliper and I'm going to get a bit closer for this one. But I'm actually going to use this shock and put the zip tie through there. Make sure that's locked off. And now we've got, we've taken the tension off of the brake hose there. So now we can work on this brake disc. So what I've done, I've turned the steering wheel again. And um, what I've got here is my T30 bit. I'm gonna take these two bolts out. So first thing you wanna do, when you try to do it, you're just gonna keep turning the brake disc. So I'm gonna just pop that through there. You can either pop it through there on some cars or if your brake disc is big enough, you can pop it through the actual vent on the side. And what that should stop now is the disc from moving. For these screws, luckily they're not on too tight for um, this car. It's quite a new car, but you may need an impact driver or an impact wrench to get the bolt off. Saying that, some discs may not even use this system, but uh, on this course, uh, you've just got these T30 bits. What I mean by impact driver, you actually use this tool here. You can pick these up pretty decent price and you put that in there and you just tap the hammer and uh, it'll turn it with a sort of impact and that'll break the nut free as well. We can just get our hammer, just like that. Discs off, guys. Just clean up 
the hub as we are replacing the disc and you want the best sort of surface you can whilst you're down here. So what I've got here is the new brake disc. Compare it to the old one, right size and right bolt hole pattern. Then we'll use some brake parts cleaner. Use as much as you want just to get the protective film that the manufacturer actually puts on to stop the parts from corroding before they're sold. This is important as when you come to brake, you'll actually stop. Just like that guys. Once again, using this copper grease, go around the hub, just for the next guy. When he comes to replace the disc, they're not seized on to the hub and it just makes life a lot easier for the next guy who comes to work on this car. So, line him up. She looks well right there. You want your two bolts. Get another spray just as my dirty hands have been over the disc. There we are. Not wiping off any of that copper grease on the middle there. Check it's all secure on there. What we're gonna do is cut these cable ties and put the brake caliper back on. and snug line the caliper up to the bracket make sure you're not cross threading anything once again here I have just added some Loctite to all four bolts so make sure you do this when reinstalling the bolts And there we are guys, hour and a half to two hours later, and that's the job done. Fresh pads and discs, all sorted. I'm gonna put some thread locker on the bolts now. I got that coming as uh, I didn't have any thread locker at the garage. Um, this isn't gospel, I just wanna put that in there. There's probably a million mechanics that can do the job better or differently to me. Um, and I'm sure I'll get some comments on what I should have done differently. Please go ahead, constructive feedback, always welcome. Um, if you're looking to do it yourself, make sure when you're pulling off, pedal is nice and firm. You may have to pump it a couple of times. And uh, Other than that, your first couple of drives, you just want to make sure you try not to emergency stop as you want to feather in the pads and the discs as they rotate nice and evenly uh, just for the longevity of the pads and the discs. Other than that, Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see some more car clips, some more rebuild videos, some more how to's and uh, you'll see behind me. I've got a little budget build on the way, but that's a little uh, hint or a little teaser for any of you that made this far in this video. So I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Ta-da.